here's Brody Brazil. Just getting that taste, did it did it motivate you? Or, or now that now that you're you're removed from it, does it frustrate you? Does do you wish you could jump right back into that opportunity again? Yeah, like I think it just motivates me to get even back even stronger. Of course, I would like to be there and be competing with the guys, and uh, you know, I just it's a motivating thing for me to to get even better next year. What's the biggest difference? I mean, now that you've had the taste of the NHL and now you're back in Sweden, what's the biggest difference in terms of teams and what you do every day? I think the biggest one is like. Obviously, the ice is a big thing. Mm-hmm. You know, the ice level and uh, how big it is in Sweden. And, uh, yeah, like everything around was was so, like, big in the NHL, you know. And everything was new for me coming there. So it was, uh, this was way bigger for me because I, I didn't know what to expect. And now I'm just trying to find my my grind and get better every day at, at some small details. You talked about that quite a bit when you were over here. You know, obviously the smaller rink in North America versus the wider rinks of Europe. So, so what does it mean for you, especially as a winger, when you don't have those extra, you know, seven, eight, nine feet on each side? What are, what are the specifics that matter to you in terms of what you were trying to adjust to? You know, it's like if you get a little less time, obviously, because mm-hmm. you have to make the decision with the puck earlier and even when you before you get it you had like a split second to do do a thing with the puck before you get it so that was a that was the thing i, I would try to get like take with me back here and trying to to work on here as well mm-hmm. uh, even if i work time here i'm trying to work it work on it to prepare myself for the future so can you basically make more plays in Europe, okay, can everybody make more plays in Europe just because of that, that extra real estate, that extra space? Yeah, I, I would say so. It's, it's like, yeah, for me, it's it's in NHL. It's like close to the net, you can say, but here it's so much wider, right. so you can maybe round players easier and stuff like that. But yeah, I think so. Bob Bugner said that he thought you actually played quite well in tighter spaces. He thought. That I, I don't know it, it it forced you to I don't know be a little bit more creative or do you think he do you think he was onto something there do you do you think he recognized something that that you can play that that game too? Yeah, I hope so. And like I I think I just better and better, mm-hmm. and I tried to like yeah all those small details. Obviously, when it gets smaller, you have to make those decisions because. Like if you don't make them, you you gonna get the guy on you. So that was the thing that I wanted to change like right away and get better at. 